Welcome to Grace for All, a daily devotional podcast produced by the Congregation of First United Methodist Church in Maryville, Tennessee. We're glad you're joining us today. When we speak, Psalm 139, verse 4, For there is not a word in my tongue, but lo, O Lord, thou knowest it altogether. Psalm 139, verses 23 and 24. Search me, God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. Recently, I made a conscious decision to be more complimentary to people who serve and do their work. One day, while having lunch at a local restaurant, I had an opportunity to practice. It wasn't difficult to see that our waiter was new at the job. He was meticulous in every detail, making sure he was doing everything right. All the while, he displayed a look of uncertainty. As we were leaving, I complimented him on a job well done. I was amazed at the transformation in the young man's demeanor and the grace with which he accepted the compliment. And I was encouraged that a sincere small gesture of appreciation could have such a positive effect. Affirmation can be a blessing to those who show appreciation as well as those who receive it. Throughout Scripture, we are reminded of the power of our words and the dire warnings of careless and harmful speech. As children, perhaps we heard our parents wisely tell us, if you can't say something nice, don't say anything at all. Scripture tells us in Proverbs chapter 16, verse 24, that pleasant words are as a honeycomb, sweet to the soul and health to the bones. Our words can reflect the spiritual state of our soul. So may we who know the Lord ask God, like David, to search us and know our heart, try us and know our thoughts, and see if there are any offensive ways in us. Dear Lord, thank you for the gift of communication. May we be wise in our speech, kind to others, and diligent in our spiritual lives. Amen. This devotion was written by Stephen Hankel and read by Sally Stovall. I'm Jonathan Jonas, the senior pastor of First United Methodist Church in Maryville, Tennessee, and you've been listening to our congregation's Grace for All podcast. I'm so grateful for the lay members of our congregation who write, edit, and produce this podcast. To learn more about our congregation and its ministries, or to participate in our streaming worship services this weekend, please visit our website at firstchurch.org. That's the number one, S-T-C-H-U-R-C-H dot O-R-G. Until the next episode, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, and the presence of God's Holy Spirit be with you.